Carter, game one. Coming up against the Empress Children. I will run down the list later on because time is very, very short. Um, but as you can see, quick line up. As you can see, my arm is totally different to what I said I was going to bring on the channel. My opponent in his lovely bright shirt. <laughs> um, let's go for it. I'll go up. Okay, so end of turn one. Uh, the Emperor's children did fire their heavy weapons. It put a lot of hurt in myself. Minus the Magnus, really, really gutted. Um, but he was a bullet magnet. I knew that was going to happen. Couldn't do nothing on that. Pulled myself on my turn. Um, managed to smite off his Contemptor. Put a couple of wounds into his troops. So now I'm moving into turn two. So at the moment, I am losing on points. It is four to eight. So I need to do a lot of catching up to pull myself ahead. So fingers crossed, let's hope Zinch can pull it out of the bag for us. Okay, so coming in the end of round two. Um, Objective-wise, uh, so I've scored kill two at the moment. Yep, so I've got... Yeah, so killing them off meant that I've kind of messed myself up. So I was kind of hoping to go for the charge, which would have got me the bonus point. Um, so as you can see, quite a lot. So the, at the moment, the smite train is still surviving. The brims at the moment are still holding out. It's holding up now. There's a lot loot missing now on the Empress Children. Uh, this arm is doing better than I thought it would. So awesome. Thank you very much. So at the end of that whole turn, um, what we have got... Been a bit brave, start pulling everything forward through there. Um, maybe this might have been a silly move, but sacrifice the Demon Prince, start pulling him up. The flame has gone up. Um, managed to take a few off, gone into combat. Uh, subjective wise, killed more, hold more. Don't get the bonus, so I still need to hold five. Um, there's two holding objects there, so don't get that. Um, and I haven't got no characters, so I have got recon, so I'm starting to slowly pull it. So I am ahead now. Let's, let's go into the next turn. So, end of, end of the round. Uh, lucky enough to pull the win off um, Demon Prince pulled himself forward was a bit silly did sacrifice the, the flame which he didn't have to um, but I thought I might be able to get Demon Prince in so a bit silly on that side um, You're a bit silly. thanks for that Martin I really do appreciate that uh, so on the scores on the doors so uh, 20 points so 22 points on to that against the 18 didn't go too well so let's see how we go into next turn so, Mike, what was your star unit of your game? So, sorry. sorry, I'd probably say it's one of the last cannon units. Um, taking Magnus out turn one is always a benefit. But other than that, I don't know. This guy, he always does well. Man of the hour. But yeah, no, I'm happy. Good game. Thank you. Uh, for myself, it's definitely got to have to be... Um, the brimstones at the moment for this is I know it's going to be the last edition for the brimstones but the brimstones did rock was kind of hoping I'd get maybe the blue scribe to do something um, but not yet let's see hopefully next next game I might be able to get to use him but yeah I'm just really shame I didn't get onto this this list for a tournament list a lot earlier um, but let's see what they bring for the next edition okay going in for game two playing up against space marines and I get a chance to see what this new Horrible Space Marine Forge World bucket of goodness, or in my case, a bunch of filth at the moment that's coming down the lines. Loads and loads of range, bucket loads of wounds. I think it's like 24 wounds on that? 24 wounds. So I can't shoot it, that's for sure. And he's definitely played well wisely holding that right to the back. Uh, so my turn, gone first, nothing to smite. All I've done is advance myself forward, I'm going with mission six. Oh wow, that's um, glancing up quite quick. Ah, right, okay, cool. Panicking then. Let's see how we go. So, end of uh, my round two, beginning of Rick's round one. Uh, Rick rounds two, losing my words here. Um, pull myself forward, and then, so Magnus on there, he's managed to get a smite off. We've taken the Contemptor down to two wounds left really needed to pop him um, I did take control of the captain charged his captain into his other captain killed his captain um, which is really cool um, did take the scout to the front so it gives me two kill two units so far two units to none 
just really, really cool. So I'm really happy on that. So at the moment, sorry, I'm jabbering on, so I do apologise. So at the moment, it's giving me old school full line for first blood. I've got the recon because I've got everything in uh, four quarters uh, and I've got a headhunter for things. So at the moment, that is putting me up to, what's that, two, four, six, seven. Oh, cool. So going up into turn four for Rick, uh, pulled my guys slightly forward. Haven't been brave this time. I've kept to the holding behind the back of the lines. It's now just leaving just the big boy on his own. Hell of a lot of wounds. I've managed to take him down to 22, is it? 22, yeah. 22 wounds on him. Um, see how much damage he can pop back at me. Let's go for it. So at the end of the game, I uh, did come away with a win with 37 points. Uh, so it's really, really cool. Managed to keep my call on Magnus to the end. Um, I know some people would have probably pulled Magnus forward, gone for the charge, which people have already told me that. But I think I went with the right call there, just leaving him being the bullet maggot, being held back to think. Now I could have walked time but close to him. Um, so maybe it was good or maybe it was not, I'm not sure. But the main thing is he did survive. Um, did get him down to five wounds left, so he, Magnus nearly did die. But he just did leave then the smite train pumping onto his super heavy, which did manage to take down. Didn't blow up, um, but it wouldn't make no difference. Do come away with 37 points. So now this is where I'm going to start pooping it, because now I'm going to start playing with the with some some horrible lists and some horrible armies. Um, really looking forward to it. Kind of breaking the mold here. I've won two games in a row. Let's see if I can pull a third one out of the hat, and I'll be happy if I can pull a fourth one out as well. Um, but I think I'm getting overexcited. I just need to keep my cool and keep going. So unit for myself on this one, I think Magnus is going to have to be the boy on this one. He was the main one. Rich, what was your, what was the main unit that you thought was good for yourself? Okay. Main, main unit good for me. Um, right, um, main unit good for me. Um, I was pretty happy with the Redemptor. He did a sterling job against Magnus at the end. Good work for him. Cool. So absolutely awesome game. Really enjoyed it. I'm hoping my opponent enjoyed it and I didn't come across as a, as a horrible player. So, Rich, thanks for an awesome game. And uh, let's go to the next one. Hopefully, I can do the same thing again. Yeah, as you can tell, channel. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so so far, uh, turn one, turn two, because he's going to turn two. Mag has gone up. Celestian, I've made a silly boy mistake, open up. From there, she died. Jumped over to there. Jumped over to there. Fair play. Uh, Mag is over there, left in the open. Uh, the guys have covered out. Go. Okay, so at the end of my turn three, um, I corrected my mistake. Celine is dead, so I did get a headhunter kill on her. Uh, pulled my demon princess up, so clustering up now. As you can see, there's a lot of things now starting to wither down. Um, we're coming now, it's turning around, hopefully, in my favour. Let's see how we go for into his turn. Hopefully, we can pull this back. Couldn't really keep you updated on what was going on. It was moving fast, it was moving quick. The games were getting hot. Dice were rolling hot. I'm sweating buckets. I think my opponent's sweating buckets. We both need a cold drink. Um, I did come out with a win, 22 to 19. Uh, a couple, loads of silly mistakes I've done on that. Um, a big one, I think, is there. Pull them forward. To be fair, I needed, I needed to get line breaker, um, so I kind of risked it. So. It is what it is, but what I did do, which I thought was smart for myself, which is not normally my style of things, I pulled those forward into combat to give him a bit of a shield, um, but he did kill one of them off. I think the highlight unit for myself on this one is probably got to be... It's got to be the Brimstones on this, they're 100% on that. What do you think, my friend? Introduce yourself, buddy. I'm Charlie. What's that? <laughs> So I'm a. Uh... <laughs> you let it this out, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm a uh, Charlie, and I've come to um, LCO Northwest Open twice before. Uh, first time playing like a Imperium list instead of like pure Scions or Tau. Uh, this is easily the closest match I've had. Uh, match one, I won 35-9, a bit of a stomp. Match two, we did an hour to get six turns because we were that fast, and there was nothing to shoot, and that we was 
probably a point different there. But this came down to probably turn three, turn four. Celestine was my MVP easily. She got seven points for me in uh, turn two easily. Charge Magnus didn't took three damage, just like a boss. And then she she went down a blaze of fire, got me loads of points, which brought it a lot closer. But easily the it's got to be Celestine. Yeah, she's my MVP. But yeah, good. Would you have done any semi different? Go first, and also the tower of power of all my las cannons just did nothing turn one. I was hoping to roll averages, but it happens. But still, it fun game. Yeah, really good game. Yeah. Hobby was the winner. Thank you. As Toby would say. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Okay, so going into my game four, going up against Tyranids. Lost the seas. Okay, I've seen a lot of stuff's coming down. Let's see how we go after the end of round one. Okay, uh, so in this one, again, the games were going too quick to record any other thing, but as you can see at the end of it, now this was a loss for myself, and I ain't gonna lie, I did get a bit flustered not knowing what a lot of the Tyranid stuff does, which is a shame because I do play Tyranids, um, so it's kind of a bit embarrassing for myself in that. Okay, so at the end of that game, the game was moving too quick to keep up to date with the, on the camera, um, but unfortunately I did lose this one, played it a little bit wrong, should have pulled Magnus up a little bit further, been more, a bit more aggressive, which I didn't, so that's a bit of a silly mistake for myself. Uh, Magnus did get taken out. Um, thing. So it ended up as uh, 22 to 18 to my opponent. Yeah, that was that was friggin' brutal. I'm not gonna lie, that was absolutely horrible. Um, Swarm Lord just absolutely tramps on my Demon Prince. I thought the Demon Prince could take him, um, but that's the thing. So I lost two Demon Princes to the Hive, the hive Tyrants. Uh, so in hindsight, what I should have done is pulled them back behind the lines and just carried on with the smite and kept the smite train moving up. So my mistake from that, a bit of learn for next time. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's what I can do is learn for the next time. So that's cool. Okay, so going into game four, uh, game five even, with my friend Toby. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, with his beautiful custodies. Uh, hopefully we'll get him on the channel to uh, show his army off. It'll be really nice. Um, again, still going with the same list. Been really aggressive with Magnus this time. Got all the cycles off. Let's see how it goes and I'll keep updated as we go on. Okay, so quick update uh, as we've gone on. So done my turn, uh, Magnus has got all his spike spells off. Um, so in this turn, I pulled myself away from those guys. Um, there's no point chucking it away just yet. Uh, Magnus still got a big roll to do. Uh, what I did do, I done Defex onto that character, which took his invuns off, which meant then the flamers would be killing him outright, which was quite lucky on that. Um, Toby's moved himself forward. So I've got a little bit here at the moment. Uh, managed to summon some blues at the back. That's it, let's go on to our next turn. So at the end of the game, um, a lot of things changed. Uh, what I had to do was, I pretty much had to swamp those two guys up. I couldn't afford the assassins going to any of the Couldn't get out of range, so I couldn't do my beautiful smites. Um, so it is what it is, uh, but I did take off everything I need. And I did score, 30, how many points again? 34 to... 14. Um, star unit again for this one would have to be Magnus. Uh, I played him differently, but he was very aggressive. He did well. Um, yeah, it was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. But as always, Tobe's awesome. At the, so, Toby, out of that game, talk me through what you thought was good. What was good? What, from your point or for yourself? For myself, um, the thing that happened in that game. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I would have done differently because you're quite aggressive with Magnus, which I wanted you to be because I wanted to get in combat with it. Um, but just couldn't do the damage. Like, the saves were too good. A um, bit disappointed with, like, smites. I wasn't getting them off at all, doing the damage. And it, basically, Magnus was alive way longer than he should have been. But as a whole, it was, it was a good little game. Um, my army underperformed. I just didn't do the damage I needed to. But your army was really good. Like, it just, it was, it was... It was one of those, it's a bad matchup full stop when I'm playing against a, a very psycho heavy army with smites. It is what it is. We live and learn. Yeah. Well played, buddy. Awesome game.
May the hobby be the winner. May the hobby be the winner. At the end of that final game, unfortunately I couldn't keep up in between the rounds. The moves are going too quickly to stop, just to capture. Um, so I do apologise on that. But as you can see, this is the end. I have lost uh, 17 to 22. I ain't going to lie, that was an absolutely nightmare i don't know how i could have done any differently on that uh, i'm sure my opponent would be able to tell me otherwise <laughs> um but magnus did charge up destroyed one of his uh, towers so it's happy on that the only problem was then he did get taken down he managed to take the his um free up in van put him back to a four which kind of sucks a little bit in fact i stayed that would have made a big difference maybe a school bear on that uh, well there's nothing I can do on that Magnus tanked a lot so that was cool so at the end of that um, as you can see up here I tried at the end to try to do the demon princes to assault into them unfortunately just didn't get out just like two inches out from them from getting in so I was gutted on that no more re-rolls left so I couldn't do anything on that uh, couldn't smite them because of the tower unfortunately so that was the closest unit which I couldn't do nothing on that which kind of hurt a little bit but yeah if I'd played anything different I don't think I could have done because it was just an absolute struggle. I had to really think about everything that I'd done. Um, his shooting power was just immense with the Dark Reapers. I'll let him talk to you about the Dark Reapers because they've got some absolutely really good tricks up there, up their sleeves. So I'll pass you to the opponent. So what I do, I'll pass the... Oh. <laughs> I can hear myself. Oh. Hi, I'm Vince. I'm the aforementioned opponent. Uh, I did my best to make Darren's last game a living hell for him, uh, and I can tell from his face that I succeeded. So, uh, uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, his uh, yeah, his Magnus was a uh, he, he did he was a really cagey game. I thought I thought after turn three he, his demon princes would uh, would would take take him through the rest of the game, uh, but he got a bit unlucky. He failed a few charges, which which would have changed changed the way it turns out. Uh, so yeah, what can I say? Eldar Eldar overpowered. Nerf us. <laughs> Uh, oh, definitely the uh, definitely the shining spears actually. Although, they, it, funnily enough, they didn't do that well in this game. Uh, probably for this game, I'd say the swooping hawks. They were just sort of running up the side and, and making sure and just popping off shots into the in, indestructible brims. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Darren. Thank you very much. I hope so. Cheers, buddy. So, as always, guys. Um, We'll see where we come in the rankings. So hopefully I don't come too far from the bottom. I wish I shouldn't. I'm hoping I'll be within the top 10. Let's we'll see where we come now on the rankings. As far as I know, that's not being done in the UK's book. Um, definitely not four in one day. It's hard work. Um, I thanked you last night for it, but thank you again now. Um, you all played to time. Nobody got a zero score for it. Um, there were a couple of dice downs. Um, did you expect that? Um, um, and everyone just did it. Um, did everybody enjoy the four games? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard, but it works. Um, yeah. Put the objectives out on that. That helped, hopefully, from our behalf, so we, we, we sped things up. Moving on from there, um, straight into prizes. Um, we're going to do the painting awards quest. Um, um, we will issue vouchers out um, to each of you. Anybody who takes an award, come and see me once all over Hoverloo's Dad Dad will sort your vouchers out for uh, your prizes. So the first one is for best painted unit. <laughs> <laughs> Should you know what? I set all these out on the stairs like a professional. That's the only one there is one. It says it right there. Um, I don't know his name on the back. I thought it was. Right, it's cool. You announce it then. Professional, isn't it? It's not professional. <laughs> Best painted unit is Toby! <laughs> Next up is Best Conversion. Best Conversion was for, I believe it's a Dreadnight? Yep. Custom's Dreadnight for Dean Cook. <laughs> for best painted individual miniature. I know Alex, you didn't get it this time, we're giving it. Uh, for a fantastic demon prince, one of seven demon princes, Rob Dunn. 
Best painted monster or tank? Monster's a big tank to paint. This thing's even bigger. Huge, big, mank tank. The Paul Tonks. Yeah. Decided that we were going to put Alistair Everett in, though we didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> and Alistair had unpainted, now we're already messy. Uh, well done, Annie, though, for spending your lunchtime painting your models. Uh, but no, we went through, you saw them, you voted on them, and the winner with a stunning custom design is Toby again. <laughs> This time went out of his way not to get the wooden spoon. Yeah, went out of his way, so he brought a big thunder tank. Um, still came close to getting it, mind you. <laughs> this year's last chance open 2018 and wooden spoon winner is Luke Kappa. <laughs> money on an each way bet so I'm still all right because you could have gave me the top four. Um, it's Gavin. Borrowed an army to play it, to have some fun with it. And only when it came second, Mark Conmelo. more miles than anybody else to try and win this and has finally even after conceding decided to stick into it after downloading and control copy and pasting his oh. list <laughs> <laughs> i've not said it hardly all weekend but mr netlist will betts has finally won <laughs> Sportsman, voted by you guys, and given out um, to, to, to me and Ace, is what we set the tournament up for, is to get the, the hobby, to get the hobby yeah. winning, exactly that, which it does, it only wins out, this year's LCO 2018 Players Play Award goes to Robin Neal. Yeah, but people were already play testing the list. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that is it. Thank you very much for all coming to the event. 
final wrap up to it is we've obviously got our next big event that you guys will, will be interested in will be the Northwest Open. Um, the exact date escapes me. I believe it's the 29th of July. It's the last Saturday and Sunday of July. Um, we've made sure it does not clash with Cali. Um, it's two or three weeks after Cali. Um, so hopefully you'll come back for that. We'll, we'll send information out on the current Facebook page to let you know what date tickets are going on sale. There will also, again, dates to be confirmed, middle of April, there's going to be a Battle Brothers um, team tournament, um, so um, doubles. A um, thousand points each again, all the rules pack will be set up, but hopefully you can get in for that. It'll be a, sl um, a smaller number count of players, we won't be releasing 60 teams, because it'll just be too crowded. Um, so it'll probably be 40 teams, <coughs> not two, um, in for that. So look out for that, put the dates in your diaries as, as and when you see them. And is there any questions from anyone? No. How much did the Red Bull Day kill him? Never again. Never again. No. In fact, well, just don't come. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, but as, as a very, very then final part, if there's no other questions, as always, I want to thank Ace for all his lack of help. Mm. And I want to thank Dave for all his actual help. Um, he makes all the computer bits work, he makes everything work, makes the terrain up for you. Um, Ace just turns up and goes off drinking. <laughs> yeah, right. The most important job. Yeah. Well, good luck to those going to Vegas next week. Um, I may or may not be going. Uh, going. Yeah. Going or may not. We'll, we'll see what happens in a curry. <laughs> a curry could change everything. Well, no, thanks a lot, guys, and see you all soon. Thank you for taking the time to watch up to this point from here. Um, I really do appreciate it. As you can see, the armies that I've gone up against, you know, there were some really good armies. Uh, that had gone to the actual last chance open and I did get a chance to fight some really horrible lists and some really good lists as well some really fluffy ones uh, I think the fluffiest one for myself I did really like the Empress Children's Army you know beautifully painted um, the whole theme of it was really nice I, you know done a really good job on that and I really enjoyed playing up against it just a shame that unfortunately the army list I, t I took against it um, wasn't as fluffy which was a shame Really good list. Uh, the last cannons against most things would just do absolute devastation to it. Um, you know the coffin eye was was really awesome as well, and the fact that when they die, they you know they do that whole trick of shooting again. I really like that. Um, second game uh, against that forge world tank. I at the beginning I kind of looked at it and I thought, wow, that's going to cause some damage. Once I got around the first round of shooting from from that tank. Um, I realised it wasn't that much of a threat. So being this army, I'm not, you know, 100% familiar with and you know the full mechanics of part of it, and knowing what I could get away with. Once that shooting had been done, I realised then it was like, do you know what? I don't have to worry about this at all. Just focus on everything else, and I can just leave that, leave that bad boy just for last, and then just pop it right at the end. Um, but again, really, really good game. Really enjoyed it. And it was just, yeah, it was enjoyable. I, you know, had fun with regards with it. The third game um, against the Imperial Guard, I couldn't believe how well Magnus tanked that. You know, uh, the poor chap. He spent all his, you know, all the miss, uh, last cannons shot into Magnus. And I was just so so lucky on all those free ups, free up saves I made on him once I got that psychic spell off. So it made Magnus, you know, a real bullet magnet on this in this in this um in that turn. So I was really really lucky for, um, you know, I did make a big mistake with Celine. Uh, I can't even say her name, but his uh his character died and she popped back up again and got right into my back lines. Uh, I, I've completely forgot for one second about. I didn't expect that to happen. Let's be honest. I didn't. I, that kind of shut me off took me from surprise seeing that jump back up and actually get behind and nearly taking out my warlord um that, that was a real shocker for me but she didn't i managed to kill her with smite thankfully uh but that could have been i don't think that would have been a game changer i think it would have been a case of i could have survived on if i'd lost my warlord um you know there's enough things going on there i could have just you know carried on pushing forward i think i had the numbers there to do it um, but again, really, really enjoyed it, um, and I was very lucky with it as well. That you know the the fact that Magnus State survived as, he, as long as he did. 
Going into game four against James. Now, unfortunately, didn't get a chance to interview James at the end. Um, James had already gone. The time had gone through my list. You know, got, I'd just done a rundown of what happened on the game. Uh, James had actually already gone, which was a sh which I was going for. Um, but then it was late. You know, it was like just gone past ten o'clock at night, so it was quite late. Um, but it, that for me was a real quick learning curve. Those Tyranids, I know what they can do. I played them. Um, I just underestimated the Hive Tyrants. Chuck my Demon Prince is in there. Chuck my Demon Prince is in. Uh, unfortunately, did lose to both of them. Um, we had a little bit of a laugh and joke because my third one, I just pulled him out of combat and then pulled him back behind the Brimstones. Um, and you know, he did turn around and goes, "What? You're not staying to take the, to finish this off?" It's like, nope. <laughs> I've just seen my buddy get killed. I ain't gonna sit there and watch you know, and let myself die for the same city. You know, for the city's same mistake. Um, what I should have done with that game, I should have put, carried on pulling the army forward and not got distracted behind. Um, and that did cost me the game. I, you know, I learned turn two, but it was it was just too late. I needed to move forward a lot quicker, a lot sooner. Did manage to get you know Magnus up there, but unfortunately, the time he was up there, he did have hardly any wounds. Did manage to slap a couple of wounds onto his warlord, but unfortunately, he did save a few, which didn't mean I got the Slayer Warlord, so gutted on that. Um, but in the same sense, I was, you know, I've done my best. You know, I knew for next time that was the main thing. Um, turn four, uh, sorry, game five, uh, right, bright and breezy on Sunday morning, uh, which was with my friend Toby. I played Toby so many times, and he's such a good laugh to play against. Um, you know, he's, I always enjoy my games with Toby. You know, he's, he's absolutely awesome. Um, always comes to the table with a beautifully painted army and at the moment the custodians that he's rocking with at the moment is absolutely beautifully painted really really love him and he did pick up a painting award as well over the weekend which you know he's well deserved you know that army was absolutely fantastic beautifully painted um, it's probably going to be one of my best ones I've seen uh, for a while so you know yeah, thumbs up to that Toby you've done a, you know, a fantastic job for it um, and then going into my final game, a turn game six uh, against Vince. Oh, those Dark Reapers, they took it out of me. You know, really, really, really good army. Um, very, very strong. I just couldn't deal with them. You know, the he done a really good combination with the Inari uh, with the Dark Reapers. So he did do the Soul Burst, uh, and that second round of shoot, two lots of shooting from those. You know, really, really hurt, really, really hammered, um, and I just couldn't do nothing to you know, to do anything. I managed to get Magnus up, destroy one of his buildings, um, but unfortunately, when Magnus did drop, it did mean that you know everything else just just hammered him. So I managed to get that far in. Uh, it was just gutted that I couldn't I couldn't pull that. I think if I'd have won that last game, that may won me the tournament. But it is what it is. Um, I ain't gonna lie. It's yeah. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was a really really fun game. You know, Vince was a cool guy to play against. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll catch up again. Do another. You know, get another game in. Um, I really want to take those those um, those Dark Reapers on again because um, they're just they're they're brutal. They're absolutely brutal. But I know how to beat them next time. I know that. But guys, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, and if you do like what you see, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And all, as always, um, may the hobby be the winner.